Hey guys, welcome back to Brian's Mysteries and Adventures on Trail. I hope everyone's having a good holiday weekend. Today we are going to be talking about the case of 33-year-old Alaskan native Florence Opiluk. Now this case actually started back in August of 2020. And this case was brought to my attention by one of my viewers after I posted the last missing case. And apparently there have been a ton of people involved in this search, a ton of agencies, and we're going to get into more of the details. She is 33 years old, around 5'2", has dark brown hair, black, looks black, but apparently it's brown. She's around 130 pounds, and she was reported missing by the family members on August 31st of 2020. She was last seen on West Beach, which is in Nome, Alaska. Now, this is way off in the western, it's kind of central western coast of Alaska, as you could see on the map. And it's basically, you know, literally one of these small last frontier towns. It's very small. There's not a big population. The police officers there have maybe like six or seven police officers for the whole town. And when they were first getting this going, they maybe had two or three that could actually work on this case. Nome is mainly a port town. It's right on the water, but there's beautiful beaches, apparently beautiful scenery. And Florence was living there in an apartment with her boyfriend. Apparently she also has a very young daughter, six years old. And although Florence was apparently struggling with alcoholism at times. She was very, very close to her daughter and she took very good care of her. She took her out to events. She was always taking her out to fun places. And her friends, of Florence's friends described Flo as very humorous, sophisticated, encouraging, loving, and also very stubborn, which actually you know, if you're stubborn, that can actually be a, a positive if you're lost because or something goes wrong because it often you know, gives you more of a will to get out or find your way back. Her family and friends said that she was always organized and responsible. Florence is the second youngest of se seven siblings. And unfortunately, when they were pretty young in 1998, their father died. So they definitely had a, a rough life growing up and their family said that, you know, Florence had to grow up really young. And they said that despite whatever was going on in Florence's life, she was always wonderful about keeping in touch with the family. And so when she dropped out of sight, they knew that this was a huge red flag. Now, Florence's boyfriend called the family to notify her them that she hadn't come back. And that's when they went out looking. They started at all the local restaurants and bars and they couldn't find her. <clears throat> and this is when numerous search and rescue efforts began, including huge community searches, trained cadaver dogs, regular search and rescue dogs, and community organized search efforts actually brought volunteers and funding from across the state, including regional communities like Breveg, Mission, Teller, Wales, Savonia. And according to the people there, they said it's been the most impressive and most helpful aspect of the whole search. The official search is being conducted by the Nome Police Department with assistance from the FBI Anchorage Field Office, along with Alaska State Troopers. So even here, it's just a huge effort and even the FBI has been involved and they are mainly working to assist by going through cell phone records and cell phone data to try and find answers. And interestingly enough, the FBI got involved shortly after Miss Oakbeluck went missing and it went they got involved even before the request came from the local law enforcement. I don't know, I just found that interesting. I mean, it's great because, like I said earlier, the local law enforcement just doesn't have the manpower. And obviously, the, the FBI does have a lot more manpower and resources. But generally speaking, the FBI doesn't get involved unless there's certain circumstances. If it's uh, the person is a minor, if it takes place on federal land, if the crime or whatever crosses state lines and there's some other reasons but it's just they don't usually get involved in just an adult missing persons case so i just found that interesting and obviously it's it's great that they are involved because like i said they have a ton of resources 
Florence was reported missing. She was actually uh, in a tent on a beach on West Beach. Apparently this is very common during the summer. Miners and other people that are just there temporarily will go and set up tents and hang out. And apparently it's just like a nice thing to do. And Florence was last seen in a tent on August 30th and she was seen leaving the tent. Now, when authorities eventually got to the area where she was last seen, the tent, her shoes and jacket had both been left behind. Which is obviously not good because in Alaska, the snow and cold weather starts soon and it goes from looking like this to this very quickly. And, you know, wandering around out in September weather without any shoes on or a jacket. I mean, who's to say what happened, but it just appears that Florence just wandered off the beach that day and seemingly disappeared into thin air. The investigation in this case has just done an amazing job. I mean, they have interviewed over a hundred people. The volunteers and people in the community have gone out daily for months and they have found nothing, no leads. None of the interviews turned up anything. They interviewed fr friends, family members, community members. And then they also reviewed closed circuit television footage from more than a dozen locations within a several mile radius of Florence's last location, location. And that turned up nothing as well. And then, despite all of this, even more agencies got involved. Overflights by the US Coast Guard helicopters and boats around the area of the beach, a fire department helicopter, and even private planes. They use float planes out in Alaska. They were deployed to use remote controlled underwater cameras and two large organized efforts involving 150 people that combed the entire beach and all the brush that lines the beach. Apparently like there's this thick brush that like these altar bushes and all kinds of things that is very, very hard to look through because it's you know, very rough and thick terrain. And still they found nothing, not one clue, not an article of clothing. And even though this case is now roughly a little, just a little over a year old, they still have ongoing searches for Florence and they're still hopeful. And if you look at these pictures, you can see once you get outside of the town area and even in the town area, it's very vast. I mean, it's just open and then, you know, mountains in the distance. So it's kind of hard to believe like where she might have gone, not to mention like they've had you know hundreds and hundreds of people scouring the 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 countryside for her now they did have one lead that they thought might turn up something apparently there was a truck on the beach around the time that she went missing and they thought that maybe that was maybe a possible suspect or clue but authorities were able to track that guy down they did interview him and it had nothing to do with the case you know he was just there with his family or whatever so unfortunately florence still remains missing to this day and it is still an active open investigation and even with all this extra manpower and all the people that have volunteered the different agencies you know after four or five months all that started to wean down and florence's family has basically spent their life savings on private searches and they have done just an amazing job keeping this search alive you know hiring private search dogs different private planes to do overflies and they have literally almost bankrupt themselves trying to find her and i can imagine you know in a place like alaska it it really is i mean it's always like looking for a needle in a haystack but a place like that i just i can't even imagine and I can't even imagine what her young daughter is going through. I mean, they were very close and her mom doted on her. So just to recap a little bit, Florence is 33 years old. She was last seen on August 31st of 2020 on West Beach in Nome. She's around 5'2", 140 to 145 pounds, brown eyes, dark brown to black hair. And she apparently left her, her shoes and jacket behind on the beach, she was in a tent, and that was the last she was ever seen. It's like she just walked off into the distance and was never seen again. So what actually happened to Florence? I mean, in my opinion, foul play can definitely be a possibility, especially because they found no trace of her. It's also possible that she just wandered off and maybe got lost, but I mean, she was from the area, so I just find that hard to believe. 
But according to a 2008 st study by the Urban Indian Health Institute, Alaska has the fourth highest number of murdered and missing indigenous women and girls in the United States, which is just so sad and just horrible. I, I don't know what's wrong with people, but if you have any information regarding this case, please call the Nome Police at 907-443-5262. According to the FBI that is working on this case, they're just there to provide technical assistance. The Nome uh, City Police are still in charge of the case. I'd like to dedicate this video to Florence Opilak and just hoping that her friends and family can have her back soon. Wishing all the best to the family and friends. My thoughts and prayers go out to everybody that's involved in this case and everyone that's been affected by this case and just hoping that Florence can find her way home to you soon. I want to thank everybody for watching as always, and once again, please be respectful in the comments if you choose to leave them. Remember the family and friends, they might be watching this, and just be respectful. Thank you to coag.ag for providing the background music, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.